Dad, how are you? Ah, uh, to be honest with you, I'm a bit fed up. Oh, what's the matter, Fred? Telephones. Telephones? Yeah, telephones. Look, I've got a large team. Lots of them are based on the road. Some of them are even abroad. And they all need a telephone. We started out with this fancy voice over IP system. I asked everybody to install the VoIP app on the personal phones. Oh, OK. Well, how did that go? Well, we got loads of people moaning, didn't we? I don't want work apps on my personal phone. And then the people who agreed to have it didn't even use it. It was chaos. We had my people ringing customers off the personal mobile phone numbers. Oh, dear. Well, what happened then? Well, I decided to move the company phone system to Microsoft Teams. And then I bit the bullet. I bought everyone a company smartphone. And I just got them to install Teams on it. OK. Did that work? Well, it didn't work out too well for my bank balance. Do you know how much that cost me every month? Plus, people don't use Teams. They can't even be bothered opening the app. I'm basically paying for tech that no one's using. But when it comes to phones, there must be a better way. Fred, there's a much better way. Go on. Fred, there's a company called Tango Networks, and they've got a product called Tango Extend for Microsoft Teams. This product basically turns your team's native mobile dialer into a secure line. No extra apps, no extra phones. So let me get this straight. My team can just use the personal phones without installing the apps on there. Plus, I don't have to buy people company mobiles. Exactly that, Fred. With Tango Extend, your team's personal smartphones become secure business lines. It's a bit like BYOD for voice, but with all the control and compliance that your business needs. One phone number, one bill, full control, all within Microsoft Teams. Oh, Fred. All those people that you've got working outside the UK, no more roaming charges. One plan covering 40 countries. Oh, tell me more. Oh, I will, Fred, because Tango Networks are today's Takeover Tuesday. So you've just heard from Fred, and let's be honest, his story isn't unique. Businesses everywhere are struggling with the same thing. How to keep their teams connected without wasting money on tech that no one actually uses. Here's the problem. You've got a mobile workforce. You've got salespeople, engineers, frontline staff, and they all need to stay in touch. So you invest in a VoIP system. You ask everyone to install a UC app on their personal phones. But what happens? Well, they don't use it. It's clunky. It drains the battery. And worst of all, they just end up calling customers from the personal numbers. So you try the next thing, company-owned mobiles. But now you're paying for extra devices, extra SIMs and extra management. And still, the adoption is hit and miss. People forget to open the app or they just don't like switching between phones. It's expensive, it's inefficient and it's frustrating for everybody. That's where Tango Extend comes in. Tango Extend integrates directly with Microsoft Teams and it turns your team's native mobile dialer, yes, the one they already use, into a secure business line. There's no extra apps. There's no extra phones. There's just one number, one bill, and full control. It's a true BYOD solution for voice. Your team can use their personal smartphones but every call they make or receive for work is routed through your business line. You can record calls, enforce compliance, and manage usage, all from within Microsoft Teams. And the benefits? Well, they're huge. You can retire desk phones and company mobiles, so you're cutting costs and clutter. You can capture and control all business mobile calls, so your business is staying compliant. It's mobile first, flexible work. So it's perfect for remote and frontline teams. And there is global roaming with one price. So you get no more bill shock. You remain connected 
during outages so your business gets built-in resilience. Plus, you shrink your carbon footprint. You've got fewer devices, greener operations. So if you're an MSP with customers like Fred or a business owner yourself and you're just tired of paying for tech that no one uses, then Tango Extend is a much better way. Now, I'm sure you want to see Tango Extend in action. Now, there are three parts to this setup. First, we need to create the customer in the Tango Extend portal. Let me show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here we are at the Tango Networks control panel login. We enter our username, followed by our password. Click on sign in. We then satisfy our 2FA, and that signs us into the control panel. Now, if you're an MSP or an IT reseller, you will see all of your customers listed down here. But this is just a test account for me, so I don't have any customers. But what I'm going to do is create a customer. And to do that, I simply click on New Group, and this pops out here. Okay, to add a customer, we just need to enter a few details. Firstly, we put the name in the customer here. So I'll call my customer Bearded365 Guy. We can put a description if we want, but we need to put a domain in here. So what's the domain? Well, that's easy. That is just the tenant ID of your Microsoft 365 tenant. So I will put that in here. This is one of my test tenancies that I use to create videos. We've then got an option to limit SIM access. So this is a setting we can choose to limit the amount of SIMs this client can have, okay? There's a couple of areas once we get into Microsoft Teams where we can do something similar as well. So I will, I will loop back to this. Here, what I'm gonna do, rather than put the name of the customer, I'm just gonna put inherit data, okay? And this will just pick up the address details of the Bearded 365 guy. So if you're an MSP or an IT reseller, you don't have to plug in the details of your customers. You can just simply click on that. So that really is it. That's all we have to enter to add a customer. Click on save. And you can see that that customer has now been added. So if I just go into this customer here, Okay, once I'm in here, this is the main customer portal. So the first thing I want to talk about are bundles, okay? So I've got page one of six of bundles. So these are all the bundles that we can assign to individuals in our business. Hopefully they all make sense. For example, this is unlimited voice, unlimited messaging, and four gig of data. So what I would do on this screen is I would choose a bundle, Okay, so this one here, and I would select it as default. Okay, I will click on yes. This would mean that any new user that I subscribe to this service would pick up this bundle here. Okay, and it just makes life a little bit easier when we're setting up customers. Now, you might be sat there thinking, well, it doesn't really work like that in my business. I've got a team of executives who want unlimited voice and messaging and 20 gig of data, whereas I've got people on the road who want that. So there's no default. Well, you can work with that as well. And to do that, you simply have to set up people manually. So what we could do, if you've got 80 people in your business who all want the same, we could assign them the default. And then if we've got 10 people who want something a little bit different, we can simply go through and set those people up manually. Okay, so we put in their name, their email, and then we can manually choose a bundle through this wizard. Okay, so you can do that without a problem. I'll just cancel out of there though. The next thing I want to talk about are something called network profiles. Okay. Now, network profiles are a really nice feature for MSPs and IT resellers. What we can do here, so I will click on manage, and you can see that I've just got one network profile in here. Okay. It's the Tango Extend one. But what Tango Networks can do is add your company name into here. And that will appear in the top right hand corner of the mobile phone, the smartphone. So it's a really good way to personalize your service. It means that all your customers on their phones might have your company name or a service name that you choose in the top right hand corner. Okay, and it just kind of makes customers that a little bit sticky. I will click on save because I'll be just using the, the Tango Extend one, what's in here. Okay, and the next section I want to look at. Is roaming. 
So there are a couple of things to discuss when it comes to roaming. Obviously, roaming when it comes to smartphones is the ability for your users to travel to different countries without additional overage charges. Okay. Now, if I just click on this policy here, it's a global pass. So when I mentioned earlier in the video that Tango Extend has the ability to let your users roam to 40 different countries around the world, okay, without overage charges. You can see here, look, all of the countries here, a lot of European ones, but it also stretches to the United States of America, okay? So you can simply assign all your users this roaming pass. But we can go beyond that. Say if you've got a, a business and you've got an office in America, you've got an office in Germany, you've got an office in France, you've got an office in the UK. What we can do with Tango Extend is to create your own default bespoke roaming policy for your business. And we will just add those countries where you've got offices in into Tango Extend. And what we then can do is set that roaming policy as the default one. Okay. So there's an awful lot of flexibility here. But at the same time, customers are very much in control of how they want Tango Extend to work in their business. So we've just discussed roaming here. Customers not, might not want their users to roam to different countries. So we can set that in the control panel that roaming isn't allowed. The same with bundles. Everything is in control of the customer. So that's it. That is basically how to set a customer up within the Tango Extend control panel. Now, that didn't take long, did it? So next, we need to do a tiny bit of preparation in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Let's do it now. Now, before we can start using Tango Extend, there's a few checks that we need to make in Microsoft 365. And depending on the results of those checks, there might be a little further bits of work that you need to do. So I'm using my test tenancy here that I use for some videos. The user I'm going to be using in this scenario is Percy Pig, okay? So per Percy has a Microsoft Teams phone standard license, which is good. But now I'm going to head over to Admin Centers and Teams. So firstly, we need to verify that the SIP gateway is in place. And to do that, it's very easy. We just simply click on Teams Devices. And if we see this section here, SIP Devices, it means that the SIP gateway is okay and it's working. So that's fine, that's the first check we need to make. The next check, if we go to users and click on manage users and go into the user that we, we're wanting to look at. So this is Percy Pig. A couple of things we need to do here. Firstly, we need to make sure that there's an operator connect or a direct routing plan, okay? So we can see here there is, there's an operator connect. We also need to make sure that the user has an assigned DDI. And Percy Pig does. So we're in a good spot there. And the third check we need to make is about the Tango Extend app. So if we go to Teams app, manage apps, once all the apps have appeared, we can search for the app here. And there we go, look, Extend. So it's there, which is good. Now I'm going to click on where it says here, look, just skip the tour there. So at the moment, this app is available to everyone in our organization so anyone in the business can use it you might want to edit that availability okay you might want to assign it so we might want a specific user or group from a microsoft 365 aspect it might be good if you create a, a microsoft 365 group called tango extend users or something like that and then only the people who should be using it are actually using it if you remember at the start of this video, when we were setting up the client in the Tango Extend control panel, there was an option to limit SIM access. So these are the two areas that we can use. We can limit access to the app here, and we can limit how many SIMs that client has. So it might be that we have a, a user group, and we've got 20 people in that user group. And then in the Tango Extend control panel, we might limit the SIM access to 10. So it might mean what, well, even though we've got 20 users who, who can install this app, only 10 SIMs can be used at any one time. So they're the, the couple of ways that you can limit access, okay? I'm just gonna leave this as it is for now. So I've done my three checks in the control panel and I'm happy that we're good to go. So that is pretty much the backend setup done. Now, how long did that take? Not even five minutes.
Now we need to get into the end user setup. Let's take a look at how easy it is for our end users to start using Tango Extend. Let's go. Okay, so Percy Pig is now logged in to his Microsoft Teams. To begin with, we need to install the Extend app. So we go to apps. This is obviously a one time only. We're searching here and here it is. So we click on add and we click on add. Okay, click on open. So the Extend service is now checking that the user is allowed to use the service. So here we are. We first view and accept the terms. Okay, fairly self-explanatory. Move through and accept the terms. Okay, it's now time to pair the device with the Teams account. So we simply click on this code here, so it copies the clipboard. We then open this URL and we copy the code into there. Click on pair. Okay, we can now simply close this window. It's checking with Microsoft. Device successfully paired. Okay, it's now asking us to simply scan a QR code, which I can do. Do we want to activate this new eSIM? Yes. The mobile plan setup has been complete. Your Extend eSIM is now active on this phone. Click on Done. Okay, you can see my Teams. Everything looks good, doesn't it? Name Percy Pig, this is my Teams number. I am signed in, my eSIM status is active so if i go to the mobile dialer on my smartphone you can see i've now got two different lines my secondary line is just my normal mobile but what i've done with the tango extend is called it the business line so when i flip over to there if i then dial a colleague this is what comes up on his phone Okay, so you can see here that matches my number here. So I'm using my native mobile dialer to use my team's phone number. But what happens when I get a call? So when someone phones my team's DDI? Well, this happens. So again, it comes up on my native dialer. I'm not going inside of Microsoft Teams. I'm just using my phone so as you can see the tango extend service is really true byod for voice so how easy was that this is a true byod solution for voice and it's available from tango extend now if you'd like a free tango extend eSIM trial i've added a link below this video where you can get your hands on this solution i hope you've enjoyed today's video Look forward to seeing you again soon.